just add, just need a little bit of coffee just to kickstart this video. Hello everyone, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're going to be looking at this. We're going to be reacting, well I am, I'm going to be reacting to a Darman video where a car mechanic tries to scam a woman. Before we get started, please be sure to subscribe, like, and click that notification bell if you want more videos like this. So, without further ado, let's begin the video. Nah, but seriously, go to the chocolate cake. It's been an incredible 15 years, man. Thank you, Oscar. You know, you always treated this shop like it was your own, and every customer don't need coffee. <laughs> Always treat customers like family. Uh -oh, what is it? There better be a bunch of moolah on there. Oh my god. Oh, he's retiring! He finally had enough money to retire. What'd you look? Wow. What'd you look at that? Looks like I'm gonna have to promote one of you two now, huh? Really? really? Before you continue, sir, I just gotta say, I love that suit. Okay, let's just skip, skip ahead of this drama. Oh, shoot. Coming shop manager. Can you imagine him? <laughs> That'd be like a dream. <laughs> so to shatter your dream, but that manager position's mine. Oh, so, okay. Not even two minutes through the video, he's already getting competitive. Pretty soon, I'm gonna be your boss. No way. Hold on, what happened? Bro! What a waste of chocolate cake! Uh, I literally have my coffee right here. It's like. He just wasted that chocolate cake while I'm just sipping my. Large. I don't even know what this is. What is it? Oh, yeah. I got this. Um, the coffee from McDonald's, it's like, I got a large mocha frappe, <laughs> and it's like, and it's like good. I would not throw this away when I'm like half done with it. You know, this is just threw away an entire cake. Um, hey. hey. Dog gestures. See, this is the kind of customer I They're all broke and never spend any money. You can tell just by looking at them. Hey. Whoa. Actually, uh, my name's Sam. Yeah, his name is Sam, idiot. My tire sign just came on. Can one of you check it? Yeah, not a problem. I'd be happy to. Just go ahead and... Uh, lo siento, but no. What does lo siento even mean? If you, if one of you guys know Spanish, please be sure to comment down below with what lo siento means. We don't fill air here, Paco. Oh, damn! <laughs> Take it to the gas station. I'm actually worried I won't make it to the gas station. Can one of you please just check? No, the answer is still... Sure. No. I'll check it for you. Okay, just pull your car in. Thank you so much. How kind. Hey. Honestly, they should be promoted on how kind they are. Because this dude, like right here... He's like, bro, you ain't gonna check your tire here. Take it to the gas station. We you know this nice one over here. He's like, okay, it, it's no problem. You can take your car in. This is what the world needs. A kind, well, actually, kindness. That's what the world needs. Again with the dog gestures. This is exactly why you'll never be a manager. Take it from me, okay? Stop wasting your time with poor looking people, and maybe then you'll get ahead. Bro. Look, I've always believed in helping people. So do I. Hey, and besides, you should never judge a book by its cover. <laughs> uh. That's a good lesson. Would you look at that? Okay. Whole lot of homo. Who knows nothing about cars? 
<laughs> should be like taking candy from the baby. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. Then how did he even get the job, Hello. Bozo? Welcome to Chris's car repairs. Can I help you, sweetheart? <laughs> sweetheart! My check engine light is on. Oh, dang. <laughs> I, I think I may just need some new spark plugs. What is a spark plug? <laughs> like, I mean, I, I was kidding. I, I sort of know what, what spark plugs are, but I take, I either take the Chicago L train, which is like a little subway train all over Chicago, or I just take the, my electric Ionic 5. So, I don't really know what spark plugs and carburetors and all that junk is. Well, I know as a woman you probably don't know much about cars, but take it from me. This can be very serious. What isn't serious is that face. Oh, I actually know a lot about cars. If I could just get some spark plugs, I can change them myself. Look, look. Just because you found some inspo and in pictures. Oh, dang! Cars. Trust the experts, sweetheart. Just pull it in and I'll take a look at it. Okay. It's Christina, by the way. My husband doesn't like it when other men call me sweetheart. <laughs> mm, sure. Whoa, bro. Again with the dog gestures! Guaranteed I'm gonna stick her for at least five grand to the pet. Okay. I, last time I checked, spark plugs only cost like 10, 20 dollars. Last time I checked out, I was at AutoZone because I went there with my friend and because his car just went like, pfft. so, bro, what are you doing trying to scam this woman? We'll see. Oh, I'm going to stick her for at least five grand and even ten. Oh, okay, yeah, that guy. Um, that was a pretty neat car. He's definitely not spending any money. We'll see. <laughs> Thanks again. This isn't even my car. It's my daughter's. I'm a bit... Oh. This is the advisor. Sure you do, Hector, and I'm the CEO of Tesla. <laughs> what the... Hey, let's take a look. Why is it already blowing air? Well, the air is just a little low, so a small top off should do the trick. Okay. Alright. There. Thank you so much. How much do I owe you? Oh, no, don't worry about it. Here at Chris's Car Repairs, we believe in always treating customers like family. Some. That's so kind. Oh my god! I'm not going to charge you for a little bit of air. Yeah. I mean, if they did charge, if he did charge, or charge him, it would be like 50 cents or something. Well, God bless you. I won't forget this, and trust me, I'm definitely coming back. Okay. Let's see. Here at Chris's Car Repairs, we believe in treating everyone like- Are you serious? Bro! Did you not see how much cash he had? I would've taken it all. Well, he Bro, bro! You were supposed to follow the motto, you idiot! He did say he was coming back. <laughs> That's what they all say, but they never do. Take it from me. Get it all while you can. Bro. Why are you acting like this? Well, hello, and welcome back. Listen, I can really fix it myself. Okay. Let the girl prove herself. Let's see if she can actually fix it or not. I I believe in her. Because she already knows what a spark plug, plug is. But let her do her... Let her do what she gotta do. Just give me... Oh, oh, I wouldn't want you to hurt yourself. Besides, this is a serious job that requires the right man. Luckily for you, I'm right here. Now, if you just give me the key, I'll give it a full inspection. But that's really what? not necessary. <laughs> exactly. I just... That's just weird. Like, I'm going to Hyundai in my 
Ionic Five, like, and then I'll just say like, "Hey, uh, I think I need to uh, get like maintenance done on my car because like something's a little odd bodge about it." And they're like, "Okay, okay, hon, just give me the key and I'm gonna give me a full uh, inspection." But that's not even necessary. <laughs> Dog gestures again. Christina. Christina. Right. Now go have a seat in the customer lounge and I'll come get you. Full inspection? No. Is that really necessary? Oh, exactly! Yes, it is. You see, the full inspection costs $250, and that is just the beginning. Why are you doing that? Like, that's just as stupid as putting engine oil in under a Tesla. I mean, under an Ionic 5, they wouldn't even know it's an electric car because a oh, Honda has never made any electric cars in their entire life and time and until they made the Ionic 5. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wouldn't it already be like leaking before? Hey, how do you know she's not going to catch you? She's a woman for crying out loud. So? I know well, women in my school, they know a lot about cars. Even uh, know much, much more than me. Even though I'm driving an electric car. She doesn't know the brake from the gas pedal. Take it from me. But then how does she get the dang thing in the garage? I don't know. I wouldn't be so quick to judge a book by its cop. Oh, you think I would take advice from you? The guy who gives out free air made zero dollars today. <laughs> Give me a break, dude. Besides, with my charm, I'll have her thanking me for not charging her more. Um... <laughs> Darman books? I've actually never seen Darman books. Oh to be honest. boy. Oh boy. I'm glad you brought this in today. The engine needs to be replaced. What? That has to be the stupidest thing I've ever heard. Like, what? Like, for, for just like a little air quote leak, the entire engine needs to be replaced. Let's see her reaction. What? That's crazy, it was running perfectly fine. Exactly! Listen to the woman! Look, I know that as a woman you may not be able to understand all this, but I am doing you a huge favor. Take it from me. Five grand? And you charged me the $250 inspection fee. I said that wasn't even necessary. Yeah, but the car needs a brand new engine. You should be thanking me. Um, should... What? Like... Last time I checked, that looks like, and that Jeep looks like something from the 2000s, and it's 2023. So, are you gonna get a random engine out of a newer Jeep or something? See, when I got into that thing, it was leaking engine oil everywhere. <sighs> I can't believe this. Oh! Uh, Where do you think you're going? See? Look at all the oil your car was leaking. Lies. Would you mind giving me some new spark plugs? Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. I know that because I'm a woman, you may think I don't know a lot about cars, but I actually do. Oh. Thanks. Bosh. See, when a car's spark plugs are bad, it can cause the engine to misfire, which will trigger your check engine light. Oh. <laughs> You go, girl! Woo Sorry for that, it was kind of annoying. Needle-nose pliers, please. Oops. I don't know what's going on with the Ratchet with the long extension. Oh! Luckily, I don't have to to do all this because I take the L train and I rarely drive 
the Ionix 5 sitting in my garage right now. Ooh. That means it's time to replace it. Ooh. Why don't you make yourself useful and go get me a gauge gap? <laughs> oh my god! It's cracking me up right now. Not only not because like this girl actually knows a lot about cars, but the guy, it's like he's he's actually he knows nothing about cars and he's a mechanic. But the girl, she knows a lot. Like Girl, you are literally a car wizard, or car genie, or car princess, or something. I don't know. Okay. Check engine. See? No check. It just flickers out. Engine light. Jeeps hoods are that o that easy to open? Wow. That was amazing. But I don't understand. How do you know so much about cars? Let's just say my dad owns a shop. I grew up working on cars. Your dad. Christina. Oh, the, I think that she's the dad. That's the dad. Oh, all right. Wait, she's your daughter. Yeah, yeah. She actually used to work here back when Oscar started. But uh, I guess you guys haven't met yet, huh? She's my little girl. To name the shop after her. Wait, Chris's car repairs? Yeah, yeah, I call it Chris. <laughs> wow, okay. So, well, I'm so glad I was able to fix your car for you. <laughs> uh, don't worry about the cost. It's some house after. Uh, uh, well, bro. <laughs> after all, we always treat our customers like family. Oh, here. save it. Leroy here tried to charge me $5,000 to replace my entire engine. Oh, bro. Even the exhaust? And all I needed were some spark plugs. You what? Oh, sorry, I, I, I... I think an engine costs, like, more than, like, $5,000. I'm, I'm just guessing. I, I can explain, you see. I, I, I can just... Uh, wow, wow, that is a nice Porsche. Ooh. Oh, to him! Juan, what are you doing here? Juan? Hey, Sam. I told you I'd be back, and this time, I brought my car. I'm thinking about painting it red, getting some new rims, maybe even a new sound system. What do you think something like that would cost? Um, I don't know. Off the top of my head, around 10 grand? That sounds great to me. Let's do it. Okay. Oh! Yeah, awesome. Just wait for me in the lounge and I'll be right with you. Great. Thank you. Hello, well, Devin. Looks like you just won the contest. Oh my god! Yeah! Wait, really? No, are you serious? I'm not gonna work for him. Unless you make me the manager, I'm gonna quit. Oh, no, thank you. That won't be necessary because you're fired. Oh! We like to treat everybody like their family, not take advantage of them. This is unbelievable. Mistake it any worse. <laughs> Good thing you got fired. Can I give you some advice? Never judge a book by its cover, and maybe then you'll get ahead. Oh! Here he does got roasted! You got me fired. Thanks a lot, sweetheart. Oh! What did you just call him? Oh, the husband! Why? Who are you? Her husband. Uh oh, oh, oh. You did a oopsie. Who want their news? <laughs> oh. But anyways, that's the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed that.
leave a like if you really did, and subscribe to this video, sub subscribe to this channel, sorry, if you want more videos like this, and until next time, my friends, farewell.